Hey guys, this is Dr. Up. Today we look at the lung cancer and also the types. So to begin with the adenocarcinoma. So adenocarcinoma, what about the association with smoking? So it is associated with smoking and it is the most common type of lung cancer in non-smokers. Most common in case of the non-smokers. Next, looking at the common genetic alterations. It involves the EGFR and also the TP53. Next, let's look at the location. Under location, it is peripheral. And looking at the precursor lesions. The precursor lesions, it involves the atypical adenomatous hyperplasia. There is a atypical adenomatous hyperplasia and there is also the adenocarcinoma in situ. Next, let's look at the histology. Under histology, there is a glandular differentiation. And there is a mucin production. There is also the lepidic growth pattern. Next, let's look at the IHC, the immunohistochemistry. So under this, it includes the mucin, then the TTF1 as well as the naposin, then absin 1. Next, we move on to the squamous cell carcinoma. So here, what about the association with smoking? So the association with smoking is strong. And the common genetic alterations, it involves the TP53 as well as the CDKN2A. So what about the location? The location is it is central as well as it is ILR. Then looking at the precursor lesions, it involves the squamous dysplasia as well as the carcinoma in situ. Next we move on to the histology. So under histology, there is the keratinization as well as the squamous pulse and the intercellular bridges. So under the IHCs, it includes there is P40 as well as P63. Lastly, we move on to the squamous cell carcinoma. So under the squamous cell carcinoma, the association with smoking, it is the highest association with the smoking and looking at the common genetic alterations. So here it is the RV, then TP53 as well as the MYC. All these are the genetic alterations. And where is it located? The location is it can be present anywhere. 
whereas in case of adenocarcinoma it was peripheral and squamous carcinoma it was the central or hyla then looking at the precursor lesions the answer is none so what are the findings in terms of the histology so under histology there are small cells and there are also the scant cytoplasm then there is also the salt and proper chromatin as well as there is a azopardi effect next in terms of the ihc there is the chromogranin as well as there is the synaptophysin and the cd56 